And we saw the effects of that exact storm here in West Michigan. Within the last 24 hours, Big Rapids received six inches of snowfall. The rest of West Michigan receiving that two to four inches that we did expect. The isolated higher amount within Big Rapids. Lowell received three inches of snowfall and Grand Rapids received two and a half inches as well. Now all across the region, we woke up to a blanket of snow and certainly the slick travel conditions across the area, but roads are greatly improving. This is a live look now. We're downtown Grand Rapids US 131 looking to be in great shape currently. As we take a look closer towards even Stanton, there's a few breaks in the clouds. A gorgeous start to your Friday. We are expected to have moments of sunshine with a little bit of cloud cover throughout the rest of the day. Of course, looking a lot warmer than what it actually feels. Temperatures right now they're in the 20s. 22 degrees in Grand Rapids, 21 degrees in Kalamazoo and 24 degrees currently in Benton Harbor. When we factor in the wind, it feels even colder. The current winds ranging between 5 to about 15 miles per hour, mainly from the north northwest, and it's making the feels like temperatures primarily in the teens. Our current satellite and radar shows that we have a few breaks in the clouds, especially closer inland. Cloud cover is going to be likely, especially in southwest Michigan, closer towards the lake shore, where a few lake effect flurries are going to be possible. Winds are also going to shift later on tonight, mainly coming from the west and producing some light lake effect snow flurries early tomorrow morning. But high pressure that's going to help us out big time. We're expected to have a few breaks in the clouds later on today and also throughout the weekend. There's just a chance for a few light flurries tomorrow morning and also on Sunday morning. Our day planner shows a high temperature of 26 degrees by 4 p.m. 23 degrees by 7 p.m. this evening with mostly cloudy to partly cloudy conditions. Tonight we get even colder an overnight low of 15 degrees with a little bit of cloud cover. If you're headed out on the town for tonight, I know many of us are. It's Friday night. Make sure you buy bundle up the hat and the gloves are going to be necessary and also probably a few extra layers. As we take a look at our extended track and our future track, high pressure is going to be a key player for our forecast today, allowing for a few breaks in the clouds, especially later on this evening. But as we take a look later into your Sunday morning and rather Saturday morning, we're going to see a few flurries. That's because the winds are going to be quite breezy from the west, producing a little bit of limited lake effect snow flurries here in West Michigan, clearing out for the afternoon and evening before another week. Cold front does pass early in the morning on Sunday. This will again produce just a few flurries here in West Michigan before drier conditions settle in for the afternoon. High pressure rebuilds back into West Michigan, producing moments of sunshine. So both Saturday and Sunday will be very similar. The chance for a few flurries early in the morning and plenty of sunshine for the late afternoon and evening. Our super seven day planner tracking a high temperature of 34 degrees for Sunday, 38 degrees for both Monday Monday and Tuesday. And as we take a look at that extended outlook, we are expected to have temperatures a little bit closer towards normal for the beginning of March between the 4th and the 10th. Normal for this time of year, the beginning of March is mainly the upper 30s. I would highly recommend booking a trip to Florida. We're expected to have much warmer conditions there. Now, as for the rest of our super seven day planner, temperatures are going to be in the upper 30s. The chance for a few light snow flurries yet again on Wednesday.